Welcome back to another episode. There's going to be some really good things in this video. We're starting to um, sort out the birds. Um, but first off, I'm going to get these ones out for a fly. Tomorrow we are basketing and look at the weather. So much better than the last few days. Tomorrow is meant to be even better. We're meant to get a bit of a tailwind coming back this way. Uh, very slight wind anyway and clear skies like this. So the birds should absolutely fly home. So tomorrow morning we're going to go through the birds. I'm going to pick through the ones that I do want to... Um, send to uh, we'll send we'll basket tomorrow um, but the race is Sunday but um, the weather's looking really good uh, especially for these ones they are all pretty young reasonably inexperienced so I do want to get them um, you know that bit of experience that they need so I'll continue on with this video but firstly these guys are going out and then what else I want to do is unlock all the boxes for these cockbirds um, and start getting them into their boxes over the back there. Um, let them pick the ones that they want. And then um, we may consider pairing some up because there is a few pairs we might be able to do soon. Um, I may think we may have to breed earlier. And if you've been watching the other videos, you understand that um, you know we're a little bit slow down on numbers, um, very reasonably low. And uh, I just don't think I'm in a position to buy too many more birds. And I don't want to bring in birds just for the sake of it. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how we go. There's our little hen. She's going to go out for a fly too. She's um, pretty excited to see me. Uh, I think she wants to go for a fly. But I'm pretty sure she just wants to be cheeky like she always is. She just wants to hang around with me, I think. She's a, she's a funny one, this one. Hey, good girl. So um, I've decided not to send this one anymore. We may race her next year, but um, I don't want to race her this year. I just want to properly pair her up this season. And um, we'll see where that leads. So let's get these guys out for a fly because um, we'll go over to those guys shortly. Okay, so I won't fly them tomorrow. We'll just basket them, give them a bit of a feed anyway before we send them. Not really sure how many we're going to send tomorrow. We'll probably send whatever we can realistically they've only got a few more races left in us um, and then we'll have to sit a few birds aside for next year because um, I would like to test a few older birds um, 83 is an older bird and he done pretty well but he hasn't been on the truck before this was his first season so that could be a contributing factor to him being um, pretty onto it in the season anyway because he was um, a lot quicker than both clock birds anyway by about 14 minutes so it could just be an age thing but um, we will pick through them tomorrow so I'll make another video once we get around to it um, tomorrow and we'll sort through what we can send I still think there's probably about mm, 10 that we might just keep racing until either we lose them or um, we just you know they might make it all the way through I think they will but um, we'll just keep pushing them which will we'll probably only go out as far as the sprint series ends anyway. So it's not like super far. It'll just be a few more weeks of racing for them. Um, and then we start stepping into those long distance races, which is not something that I'm interested in at all. So um, tomorrow that's something we'll need to do. those guys are flying we'll get um, some boxes open up for these the cockbirds and even or maybe this weekend we may even be able to get some uh, hens in here who's landing on the roof oh, I know who you are you just quickly come in so the rest of them come on that's uh the inbred son of Leo he's that's the one that needs a little bit more fitness in him come on try and get him in hopefully he comes in because the other ones will keep flying we've got um, a good bunch of them anyway let's get these boxes open because i do want to see how these cockbirds go with um, choosing their own boxes and uh, we may start getting some hens in here i'd like to probably get leon storm paired up again and just get them started early a little bit earlier than normal um, and also this cockbird i haven't really figured out anyone for him yet and also shock and titan and uh, they weren't really locked in a lot of pairs yet. I was thinking last night, though, that um, this little 
red Vanderbilt we've got over back here. I may even consider pairing him up with my blue bar pied hen. Um, I think that'd be a pretty cool pair. We might get some red checker pieds, but you know, both of them are really good. Well, they're not great, but they are Vanderbilts and um, you know, the hen spread nice little hen this year. So we'll see how we go, but I'm just looking at those kind of options. Um, really haven't narrowed down who I want to pair with him yet. Um, but I'll have a bit more of a think about it because I'm sure there's a few more options we've got. I've been drawing a few little bits and pieces on paper, but I really would like to get a few started anyway. Like basically next month is June and then after that the rings are new rings come out. Um, we start breeding generally, we can start breeding from June onwards if people really want to. Some people don't until the race seasons are like finished. But um, they might start in September. But for me, I need to breed some numbers. And I want to be done before Christmas, before it gets too hot. And I want all my young birds out flying and really strong on the wind. That's why I kind of think we sort of you know, missed out a little bit this year because we had some really young birds. And um, you'll notice a lot of my young birds. Um, the youngest ones that I had had all these pink ring rings on them. And... Um, most of them are missing. So the blue ones are the different federation that were on first. And I've still got most of those. So yeah, it's definitely an age thing. Um, so I'm definitely want to try and fix that this year. At least get some numbers pumping. I don't know how many birds are going to have this season, but we'll soon find out. But we just got to get, um, you know, start figuring out who we're going to pair with who. Some pairs we can start soon, that's all I'm saying. Um, because those hens are old enough and they are ready to go. And we're not using them in racing, so... Let's just see. It's got some boxes opened up. These ones have not been opened up or used. It's really hard to do with one hand since we've um, built them. So this is the first time they're being used. So it'd be interesting to see how they go. But um, I'm pretty happy with these little boxes. They're only like you know pretty basic, cheap kind of made things, just enough to get us through this season. Um, maybe next. I don't know. It's just the price of everything these days is going through the roof, so it's um we've just got to make do with what we've got right now, I think. But I'd really love to get six boxes moving, um, maybe some eggs in there, but we will see. But hopefully those cocks jump in there and start picking some boxes. They will go crazy soon. I know they do go crazy when they get into this side. Um, Shoal shocks. He's got one. He's having a look. Oh, they're all coming up now. Oh, Titans into it. All we need now is a hen in here, I think. Hopefully Titan doesn't try and take over all the boxes. He's got a habit of that and it looks like that's what he's trying to do. Look at him. He wants every box. Get out of there, Titan. Someone's got to stand up to him, right? That's the one that uh, Shock likes. Thought um, Leo would have been in there a bit sooner, but he's not as interested. I think he's more worried about me giving him a feed. Okay, so there's around about three hens in here we probably will start pairing up. Obviously, we've got Storm up atop the there. She'll go with Leo. But I want us to pair up these two hens here. They are getting a little bit too cozy with each other. Um, we need to get them out and paired up pretty quickly. So the hen on the left, the blue bar pied. Considering putting her with the red checker cock, the both Vanderbolt's got a bit of, So, you know, might be interesting to sort of keep that little thing going. Might end up with some nice red checker pieds. 
um, and I'm considering putting this Willy Till Tie Grizzle Hen with um, Titan because this hen's got some really nice hooven in her and so has Titan. He's got some really good hooven in him as well. So I think that, um, you know, this year, obviously I will keep breeding set the Leo Storm line, but I want to play around a little bit with like, um, you know, doing a bit more of the, the hooven side in there um, and then a little bit more Vanderbilt as well. And then we can cross those birds back into mine and, yeah, if they get to that point where they do stand out. So there's definitely three pairs we can get rolling at the moment. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, most likely do that over the weekend. The hens are all ready. They've had, you know, quite a bit of a break and uh, this hen is looking exceptionally beautiful. She's ready to go, she is for sure. So I think she's gonna be the perfect match for Big Leo. I'm um, Titan, sorry. Um, and it'll be interesting to see if we can get some decent little young birds out of there. Um, equally, the non-tigers will be nice because obviously, you know, the hooven in there will really push out some, um, you know, good racing lines. So, and she definitely needs to be split up because she's just pairing up with all the hens. She's very bossy. So there's, I think they're ready. This de hen here is definitely ready to go. She wants to breed, so we're going to give them the chance. Right, so cockbirds are just finishing their feed. The other birds are still up flying. Um, I'm going to cut this video reasonably short just because um, I've got to go inside and make some dinner and get the family sorted as well. But um, yeah, we need to figure out what we're doing with pairs. I think that um, definitely want to pair that tiger grizzle with Titan. I think it's going to be a really good test to see um, how Titan goes with something that's not related to my birds. Um, cause, because obviously this year his babies didn't do too great. We do have the big Vanderbilt cockbird here, but I do want to just wait. I think that um, I will put him with maybe one of my Leo Storm hens. I think that's probably going to be the better test for the season. Um, I just think he is the ticket out of the pairing from that blue bar hen that we've got. So he, we may wait or we may put him with either 2477, which is Little Storm, or we may have another hen there that um, will go on the race this weekend, and if she comes back, she might go with him. So um, we will... I'll keep his in the loop and then we'll put Leo and Storm together as well just because they are, a, you know, a pair that is producing quite well. So we'll keep those together. Shock, I think I might just wait until one of the inbred daughters of Storm become of age and we might put them together. So that will still be a few months before I consider that. Um, but that's no stress. I'm still not sure what we'll do with this tiger grizzle cock up here. I'm sure we'll find another hen laying around somewhere for him and... Um, most likely the blue bar pied hen for this guy which will you know keep a very pure kind of vanderbilt line going which will be interesting i just want to play around a little bit this year as well we've i think we're going to have you know a few pairs and if we start breeding now we can do some changes later um we'll get you know maybe get six boxes going and then we'll have this next six soon um but we'll just wait and see because yeah like i said we we don't have a lot of pairs so um, i definitely want to get some working now and we do have a section that we can start filling up with young birds and we will have the new rings very soon anyway in about six or so weeks so um, stay tuned i'll keep you guys in the loop um, definitely a lot going on not sure if i'm in a position to get any more birds so we may just have to work with what i've got and um yeah i wasn't expecting to have the losses that we've had this season it's been um pretty brutal and uh, i was hoping to have a lot more birds left in the season to breed with but uh, at this point, we're um, we're going to have to make some smart decisions. Um, but uh, yeah, we do need to get the breeding a priority shortly, just so that um, we are prepared for the next year and don't duplicate ourselves. And as normal, the little mealy hens coming in. Come up! I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, mom.